Hello and welcome back to FPV Reviews. Today we'll be building the nose fairing for the Gemini V2 from the Flying Squirrel Models laser cut kit. So let's get started. First, let's locate the parts we'll need for the framework. RB, the rear bulkhead. CF, the center former. OF, the outer formers. There will be two of them. And the two spacers marked jig. Lay the rear bulkhead on a flat surface with a sheet of plastic in between to prevent it from sticking to the bench when glue is applied. Set up the center former and outer formers ensuring that the top of all parts are at the same end. Slip the jig spacers over them as high as possible and use a 90 degree square to ensure proper alignment. It will be necessary to use a scrap of 8 inch ply or balsa from the kit to act as a spacer to keep the base of the square level. Apply glue to all three formers at their base. Once the glue is dry, the jig spacers can be removed or you can wait until they're really in the way and remove them later. Now locate parts T1 through T4. Starting with T1, hold it in place like so along the top of the rear bulkhead, lining up its edge with the marks on the formers and also making sure it's centered on its ends relative to the rear bulkhead. Tack glue it to the formers. Do the same with part number T2. Its edges should also match the marks on the formers. By now, you can definitely remove the jig spacers if you have not done so already. Continue with parts number T3 and T4 in like manner. Locate parts numbered B1 through B4 and glue them in place one by one using the same procedure. Now let's take a pause to build a simple sanding block if you don't already have one by gluing a strip of sandpaper such as 80 or 100 grit to a block of wood in this case a short scrap of 1 by 2 pine. First we'll use it to sand the edges of parts number B1 through 4 and T1 through 4 flat and flush with the rear bulkhead sides while turning their straight faceted ends into a gentle curve. We'll also sand the end of the parts number B4 and T4 flat Locate block F and glue that on the flat area of the nose, preferably with its grain running the same direction as the adjacent wood, sanding it to match the curves. Next, locate parts number 53 and 54, two of each, and glue them to the sides of the nose fairing, making sure that they are properly centered. The excess around the edges can be sanded off later. Now locate parts number 55 and 56 and glue them on top of the previous set of parts in exactly the same manner. Carefully sand all edges and surfaces until they are smooth and have a gentle curve. Also sand the back of the rear bulkhead. We like to glue in some 440 by 3 quarter inch machine screws as studs to hold the nose fairing to the firewall. The completed nose fairing can be sealed with several coats of automotive primer, sanded with 400 grit paper, then painted with your choice of paint, in this case Krylon enamel. It can also be covered with monocoat or other covering materials. Thanks for checking out this rather quick episode, and stay tuned for the next build video where we'll be building the T-tail for Gemini V2. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.